Hello people this is self Turks and in this video we are going to learn about a basic linked list algorithm that is how to find the middle element of a linked list. So this is solution 1, we will be doing a better and optimized solution but first we need to understand the basic solution for this particular problem statement. So I will explain you the problem statement and the prerequisites that are needed to solve this particular problem. So the prerequisite says that you should know how to traverse a linked list because if you don't know how to traverse a linked list then you can't find the solution of this particular problem. So we have dealt with this linked list traversal in our previous videos. If you don't know that then please refer to that video and then you can learn about the linked list traversal. Now the problem says that this is a linked list which we are representing here which contains 5 nodes, node 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this is just a simple representation of this linked list in memory. So 100, 200, 300, 400 and 500 are the memory locations. These are just hypothetical memory location and this is a head pointer or reference which is pointing to the first node. The problem says that how to find the middle element of this particular linked list. So in this case the middle element is 3 because there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 nodes are there so this is the middle element. Let's say we discard this fifth node that is this fifth node is not present and in, the, in that case 1, 2, 3, 4 are the nodes and 2 is the middle node. So from simple logic we can say that if we want to find middle of anything then we divide that particular thing with 2. So here we need to find the middle of the linked list or the middle element of the linked list. So we want to or we will take the length of the linked list and then divide it by 2 so that we can find the middle element. So this is the basic algorithm that we'll use and then after finding the middle element number then we'll traverse the linked list up to that element and that element will be the middle element of linked list. But there is a catch here that if the number of nodes are even which means the length of the linked list is what even in that case middle node will be equal to what linked list length divided by 2 but in case of odd number of nodes middle node will be equal to linked list length divided by 2 plus 1. So if we take this example then the number of nodes are how many 5 nodes which means the number of nodes are odd. So if we take a division by 2 then 5 divided by 2 is equal to 2 so we will come to this node but this node is not the middle node the middle node is this one so you need to keep in mind that if the number of nodes are odd then in that case link middle node will be equal to linked list length divided by 2 and then plus 1. So we'll try to solve this particular problem in our coding by using the Eclipse IDE. So we'll go to our Eclipse IDE and we'll try to solve this particular problem statement there. So this is my Eclipse IDE here and you can see that there is a self java file which is present here and this is the uh, code which is written here. So don't get overwhelmed by this code, I will make you understand because this is just the code to create a linked list and then below we are having a code here to find the length of the linked list. So these are the different uh, predefined functions that we have created so that the video doesn't get much long but you can easily understand it or you can go through my previous videos on linked list to understand how to find the length of the linked list. So what I am doing here for representing this node I am using this class node which is having two properties data and next and here we are creating the linked list that is node 1, node 2, node 3, node 4, node 5. We are assigning the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then we are linking the next pointer of nodes to the other node. So here node 1 dot next equal to node 2. So node 1 dot next equal to node 2 same way we are using this particular linking for node 2, node 3, node 4. The, there is a head pointer which is pointing to node 1. So we have created a head pointer or head reference which is pointing to node 1. We have already written a method here which we have done in our previous video that how to find the length of a linked list. In this case it accepts the head node and then it assigns or creates a temporary variable and then it maintains a count variable. First of all it checks that if the temp if temp is equal to equal to null then it just returns the value because in this case the linked list is empty which means there is no node present. But if some nodes are present then it traverses the uh, linked list and it increases the value of count variable and finally it returns the value. So I have already, already 
discuss this particular find length method in detail in my previous video you can go there and then you can check now what i need to do as we have discussed in the algorithm first what we'll do we'll find the length of the linked list and then we'll try to find the middle node so what i'll say int link list length so i'll say link list length equal to what find length method so i will use this find length method find length method and then i'll pass this head variable or head node reference to this particular find length method and it will ultimately give us the number of nodes or the length of the linked list now what we need to do we need to say we need to create a middle element uh, middle node equal to let's say zero so we are initializing it with zero and in this case what we'll do if or we'll say that middle element equal to link list length divided by two okay so this is the default value inside this middle node now what we'll check we'll see that if the length of the link list is even or odd so in this case a special thing that needs to be added that is plus one is in the case when the number of nodes are odd so for checking that we'll do if remainder which means we'll take link list length and then modulo operator 2 not equal to 0 which means that it is not divisible by 2 or it is not giving a remainder 0 when it is being divided by or when a, when the modulo is taken by 2 which means that the number is odd so in that case what we need to do middle element or middle node equal to middle node plus 1 so we'll increase the uh, value of middle node by one so that we can move to the next element if the number of nodes are odd so this gives us the position of middle node from the uh, left hand side which means that we are getting the position of the middle node from the front so if the number of nodes are five which means odd then the position of the middle node will be equal to two will be equal to 5 divided by 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3 so 1 2 3 so in that case we need to create a for loop or we need to traverse this particular uh, link list up to this node 3 so what we'll do we'll create a temp variable that will hold the head address so this temp variable is pointing to which node currently this node now what we need to do we need to traverse or we need to uh, move our temp variable up to the position of the middle node which we have calculated here this middle node position so what we'll do is a for int i equal to one and i less than what middle node and then what i plus plus what we'll do we'll say temp equal to temp dot next and once we have uh, traversed up to the position of middle node what we'll do we'll do system dot out dot print ln and what we'll do we'll print the value so we'll say temp dot data so in line number 49 we are printing the data value so let me run this particular program and it gives what error exists so what is the error okay so i have missed a semicolon here now i think there is no error and we'll try to run this program so it is giving me the value of three so three is the middle element if the number of nodes are five now one important thing to understand here is why we have taken i less than middle node and not equal to middle node because the at the first point we are pointing this node to the first element that's why we are traversing one less than the position of the node because we are doing temp dot next so that temp can point to that particular middle node so suppose we are getting the position of middle node from front equal to three so if we loop three times then temp will point to this node that's why we are moving the temp variable or temp uh, reference only two times which is one less than the position of the middle node from the front so you need to keep in mind that the number of time we need to traverse this particular for loop will be equal to one less than the middle node so in this way our temp variable is pointing to the middle node and we are then printing the data now let's say i'll remove this particular fifth node and i'll make the uh, linked list 
I will make the linked list in such a way that it contains these four elements only. So what I'll do, I'll come here and I'll change node three, node four dot next equal to equal to null. So I'll say node four dot next equal to null, which means I'm breaking this particular linking. Now what I'll do, I'll just run this program and let's see what is the output. So in this case, the output is two, which is equal to this because the number of nodes in this case are one, two, three, four, because we have omitted this particular link. So the link list is containing only four elements. And in this case, the number of nodes are even. So middle node is equal to what link list length divided by two, which is equal to four by two. That's why the position from the first or position from the front is equal to two is equal to two. And that's why we are traversing up to that element minus one time and we are getting that particular node and we are printing that. So hope this solution is fine and you have understood this solution so hope you like this video hope you like my channel please subscribe to my channel and please share these videos with other people thank you